So in this video, I'm going to teach you the difference between a primary connotation and then of x. So it'll be of x, where x is just some term, and the secondary connotation of x. Okay, so uh, the book ha is a little bit long-winded. Here's what I think is gets to the heart of the matter. Primary connotation. It's going to be the properties that define what it is to be x. Okay. Primary connotation of x is the properties that define what it is to be x. The secondary connotation of x is the properties commonly associated with x. The properties commonly associated with X. Okay, so the book uses the example of the word RAM. And now the primary connotation of RAM, of the word RAM, the properties that define what it is to be a RAM, is going to be male sheep. Okay? Um, that's what the definition of a RAM is. It's funny that when I teach this, in person, many of my students are like, wow, really? But yes, that is what a RAM is. And it's funny that people don't know that here at VCU because uh, VCU's, our animal is a RAM. That's our uh, mascot. So that's what a RAM is. Now, that's the definition of the word RAM. But the secondary connotation of the word RAM, the properties commonly associated with the word RAM, are going to be other things like um, things like has horns has hair, lives on a mountain. Right, some of these might not even be true. They're just things commonly associated with X. Eats bushes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, now, these are part of the definition of a ram. Now, you can be a ram and not have hair, right? Let's say a ram that's just born. Actually, I don't know whether they have hair, but even if we shaved all the hair off a ram, it would still be a ram. Or having horns, you can be a ram and not have horns. Uh, especially if you're a baby ram. So uh, that's secondary connotation. Now, another word for primary connotation is what's sometimes called a denotation or denotation. And another word for secondary connotation is really just connotation. So in some contexts, uh, Denotation is just the definition, primary connotation. And then connotation is what people mean by secondary connotation. So different logic books um, will teach things different ways. I actually think denotation connotation is more uh, common, but it might be just because our book is British, or I'm not really sure why they teach it that way. But we're using this book, so that's the terminology we're going to go with, primary sec connotation, secondary connotation. In the next video, I'm going to explain a little bit why this distinction is important.